exactly. Geraria Chocolateria. Which was advertised in the tour bus thingy. And it looks really good. And I thought all week that people were dipping these beautiful churro things in their coffee, but no. This is a cup of chocolate. I'm very pro cup of chocolate. Who isn't everyone pro cup of chocolate? Like if they're not, they should be. Like get on board. I'm really excited about this. We're gonna eat. Yeah. Um, right now. This is morning of our last day in Madrid. And we had to come here. We had to come here. We had to get these little churro things because we've seen people eating them all week. Um, and we're very excited. <laughs> That's just a lot. How are we spending our last Good couple morning. hours in Madrid? We are um, just kind of walking Thanks around. To you. I'm sorry. No, I can't walk in a straight line. Um, we are just walking around this cute little plaza, and I think we're going to souvenir shopping probably because I need to find a shot glass for my baby brother um, because I always get him one wherever oh, I go. Oh, happy birthday, Christina. Yes, happy birthday, Christina. I can't believe you're 17. Neither can I. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I literally remember meeting her when she was like 12. She was oh. so cute back then. That's so weird. She's like, so pretty oh, now. Good luck on your driving test today. I'm sure you will do fine because yes. you are a superstar. We are sending you good vibes from Madrid. Much love, Christina. Um, and we are just gonna enjoy the sunshine here for a bit. Yes. Before, before we, we have, have to get to on a back. plane to two different countries that are notorious for bad weather. Yes. So that's very unfortunate for us, but it's okay because we're gonna have a good time. We are. So. All right. Okay. Adios. Let's talk soon. Hello. We're leaving now. We have to go. We're going to get our bags. We are here. Oh, that's a big party. Um. We had lunch, we had calamari because they have it everywhere. Yeah, it's like a thing here. We right. had it at a place called like El, El Calamar. Calamar. So like hopefully it was good. Or like yeah, yeah it's a good in comparison. Um I mean it tasted good. Yeah, it tastes um, good. And then we just got like coffee and sat for a bit. Yeah. And now we are walking coffee into our hostel. Oh, I guess these doors are just open during the day. Yeah, this is during the day. Um, because we left our bags. bags because I have three months worth of stuff. Oh, we're taking the stairs. Oh, do you want to take the elevator for the vlog? We'll take it, we'll take it when we go down. Right. Um, but so, we're grabbing our stuff. We are grabbing a taxi. We're going we're flying off to separate countries. Yeah. Totally uh, separate countries. She's in the UK and I'm going to the EU. Yeah. Different because the UK decided to not be part of the EU anymore. Hashtag Brexit. Um, okay. We'll update you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Adios. Our flights are both in under an hour now, so we have to board soon. Yeah, and I don't want to. And she's going back to Dublin for a little while, and I'm going on to London. Yeah. So we have to say goodbye to Madrid, which is sad, and each other. Which is sadder. Which is sadder. More sad? Sadder? More sad. I don't think sadder's a more word. More sad. More sad. Either I am way. more sad. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah, sad times. Like, we have to board, like, soon. Yeah, like, people are lining up for my flight, which I don't know. Actually, people are lining up for yours as well, because they're anxious to get their stuff on board. You're going to get the same seat, guys. You're going to sit where they tell you to sit. Yeah, and it's fine. And, like, your bags are going to make it on, because, like, nobody's on these flights. They're going to be fine. <laughs> and if you don't have, you know, if they have to gate check it, they just give it to you at the top. Like, calm yourselves. This whole thing is not, not a big problem. It's fine. So once you get through security and stuff. It's, this is the easy part. <sighs> This and like except for the goodbye pass. Yeah, I don't like that part. That's that part. I'm sad. So I have to pee. <laughs> Again. <laughs> too much, too much agua for the Emily. Okay. Just well, a little too much. This will this will be our last little message together yeah. and our last little message from Spain. Bye. Adios. Say goodbye to my vlogs for the next few years. So sad. We're already planning another trip to yeah, it's Madrid, fine. so we're already gonna come it's back. Gonna, we're gonna come back. Yeah, because we, we hit we hit like 
a good amount of stuff. Yeah. But there's definitely, there's like more museums and stuff we could have done. And we could actually go like inside the palace we could go and spend inside like the palace. actual amount of time there. So it said it would close at 8 and it <laughs> didn't, it closed at 7. Yeah. The outside of the building and the tour book said they, that it closes at 8. And then people were in there until 8, and but we got where, you know, they were all like, you need to be But I'm not bitter. No, I'm not, not bitter at, at all. anything. How could you possibly be bitter when somebody um, lies to you? It was literally on their building. And literally he lied. Whatever. Like, he was nasty. I didn't like yeah, him. That, that so, guy, guy who works at the palace in Madrid, you know who you are. I don't like you. <laughs> um, I think his name was yeah. Joaquin. So, I, go die in a hole. I don't think his name was Joaquin. I think his name was Joaquin, because I remember being like, I never knew how to pronounce that for like a long time. And it said Joaquin, I and I kept seeing. Song. I saw Joaquin written several okay, times. This is not. This is not interesting. No, interesting but I think viewers. his name was Joaquin, and I don't like him. Okay, Joaquin. Bye, Joaquin. Bye, Joaquin. Okay. Um, bye, Madrid. Bye. Bye, Emily in the videos, because I'm gonna say goodbye for, to her in real life in like ten minutes. Mm. Sad. I'm gonna really miss her. But it's okay, cause. Because FaceTime and everything else. Yeah, we will talk. Yeah, yeah, we'll be okay. Okay. And then she has to go to home um, home. home. She's home. going to America. I want to be in America. South America. I want to go to America. Okay, this has gone on for too long. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Adios. Adios. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hi. It is several hours since the last time I filmed. I am now without Emily and... Uh, she is home in Dublin. It was kind of an eventful couple hours because we parted ways to get on our separate flights and then both separately on the runway found out that they had shut down part of the airport. So I was stuck waiting and took off an hour later. Found out when I landed that Emily was waiting for three hours. So thanks Ryanair for doing that to us. But the flights were super cheap. So kind of what do you expect? Um, so... I got off my plane and then I got on a bus to go to Liverpool. So that's where I'm in a Liverpool travel lodge, which is like somewhere between a motel and a hotel, or somewhere between a hostel and a hotel. And it looks like this. It's pretty much just a bed. This is the first time I've ever checked into a hotel alone, though, which is kind of nice. I, it's nice to have a night to just chill before I start orientation tomorrow. So tomorrow I'll head the rest of the way towards where I'll actually be staying for the next couple months and I will find my room and stuff like that. Um, so that'll be fun, that'll be a big day. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what's been happening. Um, I don't think I have anything more to add right now. So I'm going to go to bed, get some sleep, get out of here by noon and over about half an hour away to orientation. And yeah, and then I'll start my program. I'll start my time in London. So I'm going to say goodnight. I can't put this in this video.